Hey everyone, Brian Marino here with Apex Software. And in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to subtract one area from another. In Apex, we call this auto subtract, and the way it works is it takes one area and it subtracts the square footage of that area from an area that's larger than it. Um, so in this case, I have a second floor drawn, it's 2311.7 square feet, and I have an open area that I need to subtract from it. So step one would be to draw the open area and define it. So I'm gonna go ahead and select draw. I'm gonna come over to the corner. Uh, I have a reference point here. I know from this corner, 17 and a half feet to the right is where my open area begins. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in 17.5, tap the right arrow and move my cursor to where I wanna start sketching from. At this point, I'll tap enter and I'm gonna go 12 feet up eight feet right. I'm going to come back down and close the shape. All right, so I have my open area drawn. Next step, we need to define this area. So I'm going to come over to define area. I'm going to select the open area. And I already have an area type called open in my define area panel. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. I'm going to select it and apply it. All right, so this area is 96 square feet. We need to subtract that 96 from our 2311.7. So now that the area is drawn and defined, I'm going to come to my pointer arrow and I'm going to select the open area. All right. With the area highlighted, uh, if you look up at the top in the Edit Tools tab, you'll find a button that says Auto Subtract. I'm going to go ahead and click it and it'll give me a panel and it'll list all the areas that I have drawn that are larger than the area that I have selected. Um, if you happen to not see the area you want to subtract from in this list, there's only two reasons that could happen. Either the area you have selected is larger than that area, or the area is not defined yet. So if it's not defined, go ahead and click Cancel, define that area, then come back here and you should see it in the list. But in this case, we want to subtract from the second floor. So I'm going to go ahead and select second floor and I'm going to click OK. And when I OK it, if you keep an eye on this 2311.7, it should drop by 96 square feet to 2215.7. So we've now subtracted the open area from the second floor. Um, if you open an existing sketch and you're not sure if the area is subtracted or if you just want to confirm whether or not that area did subtract, you can come over to the calcs panel and if you click the plus to the left of the floor you subtracted from so in our case it's going to be second floor I'm going to click the plus to the left of it and I'll find subtracted 96 square feet and if I drop it down even further it'll show me the area that is being subtracted which is the open area so that's how you would subtract one area from another in Apex 7 um, if you found this vid video helpful or if you'd like to see more videos like this, please like, share, subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. Um, I, I do plan on releasing at least a video every week to bi-weekly, uh, depending on my schedule. Um, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments of this video and I'll kind of keep an eye on that and either answer them there or I might make another video and that question could be the subject of the next video. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one.